you know trying to control people is one way of being judgmental right because basically communicates the fact that you believe that the way you do things is the perfect way is the right way right that's what control is all about because you're trying to tell people don't twerk at a club right don't be that girl who dances on the table don't laugh too loud right because those are the things that you wouldn't do personally so you expect your friends your girlfriend your boyfriend your child not to do them right so we want to control people when we believe that we are right so that is a form of being judgmental and you know I, I believe that the more you try and control people and everything around you the less peace you will experience you know I used to be that person who had what is right and what is wrong according to me and if you didn't do what I believed was right then you were wrong period right until I heard Joyce Meyer saying hey girl you're not the standard of the world well she didn't say it like that man <laughs> That is more of Sarah Jakes Black, uh, Roberts, sorry, <laughs> Sarah Jakes Roberts. But she said, you know what, you are not the standard of the world. So when I heard that, I started thinking about the things that I normally complain about, especially with regards to my husband at the time, you know, shoes being all over the house, you know, the seat of the toilet being up instead of down, all these silly things that we all complain about, right? Especially as wives. So I used to complain about that until I had just my saying that. That you know what, ever since I realized that not everything that I do is perfect, maybe some of the things that I'm doing actually irritate my husband. The fact that he always has to, you know, pick up the seat when he has to use the toilet. And it probably bothers him, right? You know, so I decided I'm going to let go of control. I'm going to let go of being judgmental. I'm just going to let him be, right? And I've seen that the more I accept people for who they are, I mean, I want my mom to do whatever, not behave in this way, do that, not laugh this way, laugh like that, not say this to people. If you know my mom, she's a straight talker. And I'll be like, but can you not let it go a bit, you know? So, but when I heard that, I started to let him go of control and you know i've realized that oh there's so much fresh air in letting people <laughs> live the, their best lives right so today i want to talk to you about let go of control for peace sake i am Pula Mons, your inner voice magnified so are you the kind of person who likes controlling all the situation you want to control everybody have you ever realized that actually that is a form of being judgmental? Would you consider yourself a judgmental person? You know what? If you are a controlling person, just know that it stems from being judgmental. You believe that what you do is right and everybody else must just align <laughs> to your way of doing things and the world will be perfect, right? But you know what, I tell you guys, the minute you realize that you also have your own faults and your way of doing things also have its downside, right? Then you'll start, you'll stop trying to control people. And when you stop trying to control people, I tell you, you will have peace. There's so much peace in just letting people be accepting people for who they are and you know i've realized that the more i let people be who they are the more i start focusing on the on the beautiful uh, traits that they have right you know when you are judgmental when you want to control people you're forever focusing on the things that clash with your own personality so the things that are wrong about other people right but when you let go of control then you start realizing actually there's more to this person than this little aspect that me and them clash about right you start focusing on the beautiful things about these people i mean everybody has their good and their bad side i will keep saying so when you start focusing on the beautiful things about other people then you realize that you know you've got nothing really to complain about people have a lot to offer you i mean your mom has a lot to offer you your child has a lot to offer you especially if your parents you know parents 
you raise a child as they are young, they, are, they become a toddler, and when they get to their teenage stage, parents have this thing of wanting to hold on to the toddler in the child. You know, we must realize whenever a children get to certain levels of, of development they need some level of freedom right that's why most uh, parents with um, uh, teenage kids fight so much because parents just won't let go of control they won't compromise right and sometimes kids as well just want all the control in the world so but if we realize that we all want the same thing the safety of you as a child the child will compromise a bit if also the parents would let go a bit of control so when we try and control people we start pushing them away again and that's what happens where you find parents fighting with their teenage kids they start uh, you know wanting to be outside more because they've got parents who are controlling who just don't want to understand that you know they've reached a level of much maturity right they're not a 10 year old anymore i mean when you're talking to an 18 year old and if you make it seem like this person is still 10 years old then there's gonna be a clash right when you have friends and you're constantly tell, telling your friend who likes to dance on top of tables in a club to stop it she's embarrassing you but you keep going to the club with them hey if you don't like what they're doing stop going to the club with them it's as easy as that but because you love their company you love the conversations that you have you just hate this portion of her dancing on top of the table you keep going with them right but let your friend be and i tell you you will enjoy your club experience the next time you go if you just let her do her thing you know you have boyfriend you want to tell your your, your girlfriend to stop twerking in circles and parties but that's how you found her, right? You found her at a party twerking and you fell in love with her. Now you're dating. You expect her to stop. The more we try to control people, the less peace we will have because people will not bow down to the things that we say just because we say it. We need to prove to them why that thing is wrong for them to actually let go of it on their own, right? You know, I've been studying the life of Jesus and in Luke 5, after he had preached to a multitude while he was sitting in um, a guy named uh, Peter's boat, right? He, after preaching to those multitudes, he said to Peter, you know what? Throw your net on the side. And then Peter said, but you know, uh, Jesus, I mean, we've been here the whole day. We've been trying to catch fish. Peter was a fisherman. We've been trying to catch fish and we didn't catch anything. And we've been throwing the net right on the spot that you're saying I must throw it on. But then Peter then said, but you know what? Because you are saying I should do it. I'll just do it anyway. And then he threw the net and he caught a lot of fish. They even called other boats to come support so that they can have all these fish right and because jesus did that for them they saw the power that he has jesus then said at the end of the day you know what now i'm going to make you fisher fishers of men you're no longer going to look for fish right you're not going to be fishermen but you're going to be fishers of men they let go of control I mean Peter James and John were fishermen experienced businessmen they let go of their businesses because Jesus proved to them that he can, who could do something better for them right he could take better care of them than they could take better care of themselves so it was easy for them to let go of what they are doing so when you want people to let go of the things that embarrass you you need to prove to them why the thing is not right you need to convince them instead of trying to just say you know let go of this thing um, because i say so because i don't like it who are you anyway to try and tell somebody to do what it, uh, to try and tell someone what to do with their lives right so you know if you look at jesus i love the way he did it i mean he wouldn't just come there and tell businessmen to leave their businesses and follow him right i mean they were intelligent men but he knew that he had to prove himself worthy of them following him before he could ask them to follow him and he did that miracle 
vessel, they got a lot of fish where, where they initially couldn't, right? And they had they let go of their own things because they saw value in him. So when you try and control people, you don't have a peaceful life because people will not just bow down like a queen or a king that you believe you are, right? So let go of control, guys, for peace sake. You will have peace. You will enjoy the people in your life and you will start seeing value, the value that they bring to you. You know, sometimes you are married to somebody and because now you're busy trying to control them, trying to tell them not to wear those tight um, jeans anymore, you're like, guy, you are so old for these skinny jeans. <laughs> but that was the first thing that you liked about him. Right now you feel he's too old, but he's not letting go of this fashion because he knows that's what attracted you to him. Now you feel he needs to let go. But you know what, when you let go, when you let your husband be, when you let your boyfriend be, you'll start remembering the things that you actually loved about them. You'll start focusing on their character and the things about their character that are actually complimenting you as a person. You will see that you're not an island and hey, of course, you are not, definitely not the standard of the world. I am Pilamans, your inner peace and purpose coach.